in Vienna. They are ready to go. Men's gold medal match. Norway in the blue shirts. Poland in the white and black shirts. Can anybody stop the Vikings here in Hamburg, Germany? First point on the board is picked up by the oldest man on the court, a veteran by the years, 31 years of age, that's Fielek. Now, uh, the win streak for the uh, Norwegian lads was stopped when they lost to Alexander Brower and Robert Moosen in pool play. That was stopped at 22 straight victories. There's a great shot of uh, Anders Bernstein Moll, 21 years of age. He has such amazing spatial awareness, particularly when he's up at the net. And here's the first joust to go in Norway's way. It's so fun to watch these two play. It's as if they were just made for one another. The chemistry is there. They know what one another are thinking. As you mentioned, it's a real family affair. Their f Moll's father is their coach. Marita Moll, his mother, played in the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta and finished in ninth place. So that man right there, Anders Moll, has volleyball in his veins. Room, but he got it down there, squeezed it in. Six foot seven, powerful and with finesse. And it's going to be a tall order, but he's going to have to outblock Mikhail Brile today to get the victory. And right on cue, Anders Moll up and over with his first stuff block of this gold medal final. His form is impeccable, and he waits to the last second to, to move into that hitting area, so the offensive player really doesn't have a clue where he's going to be. And you know what? That will not go in the stat book as a block, but that ball hit out of bounds simply because of the intimidation factor, the fact that the offensive player, Fialik, is thinking about the blocker, trying to go around him. That ball hit directly out of bounds. And that ball's out as well. So Norway striking early. Wonder if there'll be a challenge here by Poland. They better do something because all of a sudden the freight train has left the station. It's a good point that you make, Dane, because this is what happened when they played in Vienna on the 8th of August. Uh, the Norwegians won the first set 21-12 and just coasted in the second 21-17. Poland will know that they cannot let them run away like this as there will be no return. Now, official review. Nothing. No touch there. The ball goes right through the uprights, and that's what I'm saying. It can be a centimeter, the difference between a win and a loss. And right there, that ball goes through the block, out of bounds. Norway jumping on Poland quickly here in this gold medal final. Interesting to see Fjallik coming up and playing at the net. Fjallik, little roll shot right there. That's really your best bet against Anders Moll. Try to go around him. You try to go through him, and he will make it pay dearly. Oh, there's a challenge right there. Anders Moll going right at Ryle. That ball could have been stuffed straight down, but look how high Anders Moll is. He gets it right in between the block. He better be careful trying to challenge Ryle like that, because that ball can come back real quick. But I'll tell you what, these kids, you know what? They're fearless. Fjellik is the target of Moll's serve over the top of the block. And uh, he's done some homework, hasn't he, Fjellik, since that Vienna clash a couple of weeks ago. So you gotta go back to the drawing board when you lose and look at the video, make some adjustments. And he knows it's gonna be a tall order to get around Anders Moll. It is possible, but uh, no one's really had the solution. It's a good service from Brill. And he 
Let's get that into the net, Mo. Uncharacteristic. This is an unforced error, but it starts with a tough serve down the middle. Mole gets to the outside, tries to rip this thing cross court, and he doesn't quite have the elevation to hit that angle. But you see, after they lose a point, not a lot of emotion. Get back to serving, and wow, that's a shake. So two tough, unforced errors. Well, I can't call that unforced. That was a tough serve, but. I don't care what you throw at Christian Sorum, he usually is able to control the pass. He's put some really good spin on the ball here. Brial with this service. There's another big serve. Sorum finds the answer this time. Oh, and the big man's block almost working. Ball out of play, point to Norway. Notice no players wearing any type of glasses here in this evening edition of gold medal final at the World Tour Finals. And Anders stuffing that ball back on Poland's side. And the reason I bring up the glasses, because remember in Vienna, it was Mikel Breil taking it right in the face from Pedro Solberg Salgado, and it actually cut his nose pretty pretty badly. That won't be happening tonight because no glasses on the face, but can't assure you that he won't be hit in the face as high as Brial jumps over the net. Beautiful set right there. I don't know if Fialik is the answer. He can cut it up like the best of them, you know? Man, it's a tough task to run down some of the shots and he's got all the experience yeah, it's they're certainly playing a different style of play than they did a couple of weeks ago in Vienna this uh, Polish team another poor serve received from Sorum and uh, it's the tough serving that's keeping Poland right in the mix here opening exchanges of their first set in the men's gold medal match at the FIVB World Tour Finals Gregor's Fialik with serve. Targeting Sorum again. That's a good strike of the ball from the young Norwegian. Right to the feet. Sorum hasn't yet got into his groove. We've seen a couple of errant passes out of him, and usually he is smooth as silk on offense. But um, maybe a little finals jitters that he's got to work out. That's a high set and a high contacted ball by Brial going over the top. There's a great look at the block. Look how far up the ladder Anders Moll climbs. Gets a piece of it, but that shot just too high. away from the technical timeout a 30 second break at the halfway point of this first set scores are all tied at 10 all let's not forget that Mikhail Bryle is just 21 years of age as well and that uh, he's looking like a much more experienced player than his years tell here's his partner with service Fialik Lovely shot from Sorum. And at the halfway point of the opening set in the men's gold medal match, and Norway have a one point advantage over Poland. Moll and uh, Sorum. Here's Sorum cutting that ball perfectly. Bryl can only watch. Great command on the ball for Sorum exactly where he wants to put that ball. When he starts to get in a groove, he's very, very difficult to score points off of. So Poland has to be aware that 
if Christian Sorum starts to catch fire, they might want to go a different direction. We've seen that in a lot of matches this afternoon, the changing of strategy midway through a set, and it's paid off for a lot of teams. Norwegian players have found their confidence and form at the perfect time in the season. Winning in Switzerland, the major in Gestad, European Championships, and then the big one in Vienna on August the 8th. And a service error from uh, Anders Moll gives an easy point back to Poland to tie the scores at 11-0. 6 kilometers per hour the speed on that ball. If he gets it right, it's a tough serve to contain. Oh, same problem from Bryle. Ball lands just on the line. Look at Fiala trying to get as high as he can going up against Anders Moll. And that ball could not have been closer to the outside of the line. Perfectly pinpointed. Oh, Bryle's got his block right where he needs it to be. Great set. And there's the challenge. Ryle doing his homework. We know that Christian Storm loves to go cross body. Faces cross court with his shoulders and then he hits the ball cross body right down the line. So right there, Ryle not fooled. Wow. Fearless Christian Sorum going up against the 200 centimeter, six foot seven, Brian. And swinging as if there's no block there. Not quite there with the block mold yet. I say yet. Once he gets in the groove. But uh, of all four players on court, Day, I, I think Moll is uh, just the slowest of the four to settle in. He, he hasn't hit his A game yet. No, no, not, not from blocking, for sure. That ball should have been blocked. It went right in between his arms. He was in the perfect position. And we've seen that, you know what he, he has is that patience. He doesn't get frustrated, even though he's missing a lot of blocks. And we saw him start to turn it on in the semifinals. And once he does get hot, it's, it's scary. In that final in Vienna, he had nine blocks in a two-set match. And he really put on a, a blocking clinic. He hasn't caught fire just yet. Here's an opportunity for Norway. Free ball again for Norway. Sorum on the attack. Reads the court beautifully. Almost fakes with the shoulders, doesn't he? And then puts it the other side. It's a lovely shot to watch. Then he has beautiful vision as he gets up and takes a look. Here's a big hit cross court. Sorum doesn't flinch. You notice how he hits that ball straight up in the air so it doesn't go over the net for a free ball for Poland. Keeps it on his side. And then he's able to convert and put that ball away. Such a spectacular defender and really follows all the rules, and that's why he gets so many opportunities. Oh, a bit of confusion between the Polish players. A little bit of complaint between the two of them as well here. If you're going to beat this young Norwegian team, you're going to have to hold your composure. You're going to have to be patient like they are. They're just really good at waiting you out and making you commit some unforced errors. 
and scoring points. Really nice roll shot right there. Like I said, I don't know if the veteran Fialik, the two-time Olympian, is the way to go, the strategy, because he is solid. And he's having a lot of success early on. Maybe go to the younger Brio. He may be the bigger hitter, but he's just 23. He doesn't have quite the experience. Oh, another block. Mikel power through. And we know Anders Moll's favorite shot is that real sharp cross court. Well left. Just managed to duck his body out of the way. Within a split second, here's the replay. Watch, changes his mind, just out of the way. Almost clipped his shoulder. We call that the Matrix, trying to get out of the way. And the bullet's coming right at you there. The last second, you go into the sand. Solid agility shown by Anders Moll. First set of the men's gold medal match scores are all tied at 17 all. 150,000 US dollars to the women's, to the winning team of these FIVB Tour Finals. 18-17. Quick side switch. Look at that bump set right in the slot for Anders Moll to come in and have his way cross court or line. He sees Brow jumping into the angle. He goes the opposite direction. Much smarter offensive attack by Moll that time. When he got blocked cross court, he really just hit blindly. Oh, that was off the shoulder. Yalek. Oh, and they got it as well. Wow. Great reaction. Looked like Christian Sorum definitely had an opportunity to score. He rips this ball cross court off the shoulder. We call that the chicken wing. Just puts out the left. And I don't know how that came up in the position that it did right on top of the net for his partner to be able to put it away. That was just incredible. That's a special dig. Maybe one of the best digs we've seen in the entire tournament. Absolutely. And here is Fialik after that spectacular chicken wing with service. Moll is on the attack for Norway. That's off the fingertips of the Polish blocker, Brail. 1918, advantage back to Norway. Or was it 18 or 1918, I was right. Yeah, fortunately for Moll, that ball goes off the top of the block. Otherwise, it was just out of bounds. He's got to be very careful with that angle because obviously, Michael Brail is ready for it. Yeah, they've done a lot of homework since their defeat and lost to Norway on August the 8th in Vienna. And that ball... Ball is in. Change of mind. They were ready to challenge it. Well, I think uh, Anders Moll might have given himself up. Looks like... I don't know if I... I don't know if... Touch that ball, but the call was reversed, I believe. Yeah, it was reversed. So I think Anders Moll, a bit of sportsmanship, said that he touched it. It's Sorum on the attack. Boy, he did well to get out of that. It wasn't the best of sets. He got him very close up tight to the net. Well played, Sorum. Set point for Norway. Way too tight to the net, but what Sorum does is he tries his best to get his feet under the ball so he can jump and have some balance and just barely squeaks that one. Oh, uh, almost finishes it. And he's there. The block just when he needs it suddenly appears. Two blocks. The second one gives the first set to the Norwegians. Look at this block. Ryle tried to kick that ball. 
keeps it in play. And then a little later on in the rally, it's Anders Moll who's up and finally finishes the deal. And that makes it 21-19. And Norway off to a great start again. Now, look at the look of relief on Moll's face there, Dave. He knows that he hasn't had a good blocking match until those two superb blocks there. It's three to two. Aces one to zero, very close. But Norway take the first set 21 to 19. Dave, let's have a close look at where the serves are going because I think we're both agreed here that maybe they should switch away from Fialik and try to go to Brian. Well, I mean, it's tough to dispute the, the fact that they won the set, but points are, are being very stingy coming from Fialik. And, Maybe test Bry a little bit and see what happens. But, uh, you know, it works. So you, you probably want to stay with the formula. But Fialik looks really solid. I agree. Here is Fialik with service. Poland must win the second set to take it to a third set tie break. First point is already on the board for Norway, having won the first set 21 to 19. The Vikings are already getting ready to celebrate in the crowd. Look to each other, Bryl and Fjellik, of what can we do to stop the Norwegians here? Fjellik, again, great strike of the ball. If he had not lost the first set, I'd have him down as the man of the match so far. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's stepping up, he's getting a lot of action. And they just keep going to him, and he keeps coming up successful. play from uh, Mole there. But Bryle, for such a big man, shows that he's got some amazing maneuverability, but Mole's got it covered all the way along. Yeah, he sealed that up, but the agility from Bryle, the turn on the net, and, you know, he plays like he's a six-footer, even though he's six-foot-seven. Time they do go to Brian. Sides out, but I like that. I, I, you know, if I'm Norway, I like going that direction. He's more of a big hitter. You got Anders Mole in his face, and that goes right through the block. That is another block that Anders Mole has set up perfectly. He just doesn't get it. Service error from Fjellik. Easy point on the board for Norway, it's three to two. And there is Moll with the block. Block number four, I calculate, for the big Norwegian. It all starts with a tough serve, and Brow tries to go over on the second contact, and Anders Moll not fooled at all by that. He's up, he's over, and this crowd absolutely on fire. Even though Germany not on the court, they know how special this final is. And that ball is out of play. The break is nice and early for Norway now. Three clear. Seven is the total point score on the board. That means we have a side switch. Seven, 14, 21. That's a good shot from uh, Gregor's Fielek. is uh, on track. Norway struggle with him, but he's missing more than he's getting in at the moment, the Polish number one. It's a tough pass right there. 
Can they get out of trouble? Not yet. Oh, beautiful shot. Very, very nice. Smart play, and it seemed like Poland was up against the wall there. It didn't look like they were going to win this point, so... Smart, creative shot by Brial over the block. And look at this atmosphere. 8,000 plus here in the arena. There it is again, that sharp angle. We've seen that a couple of times. Unforced. Uh, Anders Moll kind of needs to recalibrate that. Can't afford that. time to hold on to the break at seven to five Sorum goes to the back of the Norwegian court to serve Polish players in the white vest know they have to win this second set to stay in the match or it will be their second defeat this month by the Norwegians oh, just too much heat right there Christian Sorum ripping it across court and slowly, the Norwegians are starting to pull away. A lot of juice on that hit. 89 kilometers per hour going head up right at Bialik. No fear for Christian Storm. Risky play, a tight set, and Fialik drifted under the net. Hopefully, Anders Moll is okay. This is where you can sometimes get hurt. You see the broad jump, the forward momentum by Fialik. He comes underneath, and so Anders Moll has to go down to a knee. And I think he is all right. Brial with the serve. Serving Sorum, who now attacks for Norway. Oh, and the block is there. Now that is right out of the textbook. Classic play from Brial. Well, you know what that is? That's that favorite crossbody shot. He's not falling for the cross court, and Sorum knows. He's, you can see a look on his face. He's thinking to himself, you know what, I think he knows that I love that shot. And I don't think I'm going to do it again. And he's going to have to get creative. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You can clearly see that Poland are much better prepared for this match than they were up against the Norwegians in Vienna. And in the Vienna Major on the 8th of August. It's by far a tougher match for Norway. And Brial is with his partner, Fielek. They're playing well. Moll puts his service out. Easy points for both teams. You know, if you're wondering about this Norwegian team, everyone's saying they came out of nowhere. These kids have been around for some time. And by winning in Stad just a few weeks ago, they actually erased a 20-year drought for winning a team from Norway and so once they did that they really took off they told me that they used to go to the Norway FIVB event every single year and they would watch uh, Vegar Holidan and Yori Kemperud who played in the 2000 Olympics guys that I played against and they were growing up watching them and that's how they got a love for the sport they also played at a, a school it's a cat an academy in norway called top Bali, where you train in the morning you go to school and then you train again so they've been working on it for some time and their first tournament was in Klagenfurt. they finished a fifth place in 2016 and they knew that the chemistry was strong well there's another service error from uh, Broil. that's very disappointing hear the disappointment from the Polish fans in the crowd. We're heading into the tech timeout after this play. Well, that 
was an important score for Poland. Just trailing by one in the 32nd break, halfway point of the second set. Remember, Norway in the blue shirts won the first set 21 to 19. Norway hoping to wrap this up in two like they did in Vienna earlier this month. Poland have to win the second set to take it to a third set tie break. There a look at five successful blocks by Anders Moll. He's on fire once again. There you see the ball hit the left arm, then the right arm, and then back down. You want your arms just close enough so the ball can't get between them. There's the press over the net, nowhere to go for Fialik. There's a soft block. Too deep in the court, Fialik can't even make a move. He just has to watch it. And here again, Anders Moll taking the angle. And he just soars. When he gets up to that level, he kind of just hangs up there for a while. It's a little different than other players. Second half of set two, Poland with service. Fialik will target Sorum, as he has done throughout this match. Sorum now on the attack for Norway. Goes oh, down the line. Almost bounces that ball out of the stadium. That's one of the best bounces that I have seen. This is his favorite shot. He says, you really want to block this? How about that? Crushing it after getting blocked two, two times going cross body like this. This time he climbs the ladder. Look at his head. It's up and over the height of Bryle, who has got a considerable height advantage. That's an open. Oh, no. I thought an open hand was going to be called on Fialik. He really finessed this one. Uh, that was nice. Just rolled it off of his hand. It can't stick on your hand or you'll get a violation. But wow, was that smooth by Fiala. Oh, you know what it is. Christian Sorum is in his groove right now. He wants the ball. You can just tell when he goes back to serve, he's not thinking, oh, come on, serve my partner. He says, I want you to serve me because now he's going to start to put on a show. We've seen him bounce the ball straight down the line. There's the signals. That left hand with two fingers means he's blocking angle. And there it is. Up and over. Number six. So Christian Sorum puts those signals behind to tell Anders Moll what to block. That time it's angle. And you can see at the very last second, Anders Moll takes over the entire angle, presses over the net, and executes to perfection. Oh, that ball has been put out of play by Fielek. And 15-11, uh, Poland say enough is enough. They call a timeout, they need a break from this. They need to refigure their game plan now, Poland. And that's another one of those points that you won't see in the block category, but that block was the difference. When Fielek tries to go around him, he's just running out of court. And Nick, you know what I'm going to say? The damage has been done. Now, it's time for Norway to kind of get in that cruise control and receive, they have to receive serve six more times. They're, they've created this cushion and they have forced Poland into a corner where Poland's going to have to try to figure out how to score while serving. And that's what this team does to you, Norway. They're just patient, they wait, they're disciplined, they score one point here, one point there. All of a sudden you find yourself down three or four points and the damage has been done. Then they kind of set it in that finishing gear and take it to another level. Let's see if Norway can finish this two sets to zero. Oh, a little trickler over the net. Not that they need any luck, to be honest, but that was very lucky. Could have easily come back to the Norwegian side, but not the case. That's a cruel start after the timeout called by Poland. There is the blocking signals. It's line for Fialik. 
And Fialik, such a creative player, puts the ball right over the defender and the blocker. Look at the beautiful set by Brian. Putting it on the spot. Little roll shot, Sorum was sliding into the angle. And that's what Fialik does so well. Almost like he's got the two sets of eyes. One of them on the ball he has to hit, the other one watching the defender moving in the backcourt. Lovely play from Sorum. Everybody was expecting him to belt that ball as hard as he could. But no, he's got a wide range of shots, a real repertoire about his game. Yeah, he earned that by bouncing the line earlier. That makes Brow commit and then does a little roll shot. That's out. Oh, no. And now Norway need answers, and they need answers fast. 18 to 12. Poland are struggling here now. Norway surely can just go on to autopilot and let this match take care of itself. Can Poland stop Norway here? Sorum with the serve, serving Fialik. Bryles sets his partner up to attack. Oh, one hand was there. And it has to be a little frustrating for Bryle and Fialik, you know, losing that gold medal final in Vienna, and that was decisive, 21-12, 21-17. And then losing in pool play right here at the World Tour Finals, 21-18, 21-16. And now, once again, Norway in control and looking like they're going to wrap things up here. Another error from Bryle. 19 to 13. High off the hands and out of bounds on the antenna. And the countdown is on for Norway. Just two points away from a record-breaking payday and a World Tour Finals Championship. Fialik at his best right there. Finishing, following through, putting rotation, but just not enough creativity to figure out the combination to crack this Norway team. That's a great up from Fjellik. Oh, and Brian as well. They're not going to give this up without a fight, Poland, and it's good to see. This gentleman has had a great game. Each time they play po Norway, Fjellik and Brian get a little closer. I'm not sure it's their night tonight, but it will come. That's great play from Brian at the net. Yeah, teams have tried all sorts of things. Serving Anders Moll, serving Christian Sorum, but they've been on fire. And no one has been able to really crack the code. Sorum. Oh, that drops right on the baseline. It is match point for Norway. Their third five-star event of the season. The biggest prize purse in the history of the sport. And it's heading to Norway. Match point number one. Sorum with the serve. Good play. Good play from uh, Gregor Fjellek using his experience. Norway just need to side out as Poland takes service for their second match point now. Serve more that time as well. 
Interesting game. Well, they scored some points when he's tried to hit that cross court. There's still life for Poland. It is not impossible, but definitely not probable that they're going to come back in this situation here because all Norway has to do is side out and put that ball to the floor. You know, this streak has just been absolutely amazing that this team has been on. I believe it was stopped at 22 matches when they lost to the Netherlands. And that included, of course, the European Championship. The record for consecutive FIVB matches on the men's side was 42. And that was Phil Dahlhauser and Todd Rogers over two seasons. The record in one season was 25 consecutive matches. And that was our very own Julius Frank and Jonas Reckerman, I've been told. And on the women's side, the consecutive record goes to, do you know what team it is? It's got to be that lady that's won the Olympic title three times. Yeah, the ladies, Misty May, Carrie Wall, 74 consecutive matches on the FIVB. Let's see if Norway can wrap this up on their third match point here in Hamburg, Germany. That serve is out. They called the timeout to break the focus of the Polish team. Mission accomplished.